Our guests today have all been thrust into the spotlight and hounded by the media during their very painful breakups. Shar Jackson, an actress known for her work on the hit TV sitcom Moesha, had her world turned upside down when her boyfriend of four years left her for Britney Spears. Take a look. The first time I actually decided that I wanted to go out with Kevin was when I saw him in dance class. I don't know, I just couldn't take my eyes off of him. The attraction was instant. He asked me out and it was perfect. After that, we were inseparable for the next four years. He had already accepted the two children I already had as his own, so we wanted to add to that. Finally, we got pregnant with Corey, and it was like the happiest day in his life. When I found out that Kevin was with Brittany, I was at home, you know, six and a half months pregnant. Got the phone call with him being very strange on the phone, and then he told me that he uh, that he hung out with somebody that week. Who 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 were you with? He said, Brittany. And I hung up the phone. They met on a Monday at a club. That Friday, I think, is when, when they went to the beach with all those, the infamous beach pictures. And I found out, you know, right after that. I had no idea that anything was even wrong. I thought he was out auditioning. He came home, and then there was some good news, because he booked the commercial that he auditioned for. So he was going to Japan. Instead of going to Japan, he went to Europe to be with Brittany. The, one of the hardest things through the whole breakup was being seven months, eight months pregnant and seeing pictures of, of the, the person that I love making out on hotel balconies. And it was bad. It was everywhere. Couldn't watch TV, couldn't turn on the radio, couldn't read a magazine, you know. For them, it's all entertainment, but it's my life. I was forced to live out one of the most painful experiences of my life in the public eye. Painful experience, one of the most painful experiences of your life yeah. in the public eye. Yeah. Six and a half months pregnant. It's an unbelievable story. What did you say to him? You, I, you know, honestly, when, when he came home and uh, we started talking and he said it it was just a thing. It was just a, a little fling, and little it happened. Little fling. And, I hung out with her. You know, I hung out with her. Yeah. And uh, you know. You know, and then yeah. um, and he wanted to work on our family. So okay. I was like, all right, great. Okay, so you were ready to forgive and forget. Yeah. If you're ready to work on it, let's work on it. And he said he was. And that, yeah. But he wasn't. No. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> now you find out he's not in China. He's in Europe romancing right. Britney Spears. That at that point. Um, I mean, that's, that's an obvious, our relationship is over. And uh, now I have to focus on what is still a part of my life, and that's my kids. And, and he, making it through this pregnancy. The fact that you needed to be strong mm -hmm. for your children mm -hmm. made you strong. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Amazing. And he had interacted with your other kids a lot. He, I mean, for four years, we lived together, you know? He, that's what made me decide that that's who I wanted to be with. When I introduced him to my kids, he fell in love with them, they fell in love with him. I was like, okay, we can this do this. This works. Yeah. Okay, so what do you tell your kids? That was the hardest part. I can't imagine. Because my kids, they weren't like babies. You know, uh, my daughter, I think she was like nine when all this started. Yep. And my son was 10. So they kind of had an idea. Like, they see the magazines, they see, you know, the TV shows. They get to mm. hear about it from their friends at school who read the magazines. And, and they were on the cover of tabloid magazines with Brittany, the kids, eventually. The, the baby, Corey, was on mm. the cover of a magazine. And we're not going to talk about that. That's not a happy subject. So we're because not Because it talk made about you that. so angry? Yeah. That's when I start. That's when the see, anger See, when your kids get in. hurt or involved, mm -hmm. That's when I can see it in her face. Oh, yeah. That's when you're like, uh oh. Yeah. Not a fan so, of that. So, okay, so you see that and you make a call or what do you do? Oh, definitely yeah. I make a call. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who gets that call? E immediately. You know, and it goes to Kevin because he's the other parent, you know? And right. it's like, hey, we're the, the picture of the babies in the magazine, not happy. Right. And that's pretty much all I had to say. And he got it? Oh, yeah, he got it. And did, was there a time when he came to you and said, you know, I don't know, maybe we should make it work again? Never that, but he, he did sincerely apologize for hurting me. How does a person justify, listen, I know you're pregnant, you know, I mean, I don't even know how it would go, and 
but you have to understand, I met this girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, like let, me, let me help you, you know, out because yeah, help me out. This, I mean, yeah, this wasn't a normal situation. This was the biggest superstar in the world at the time. Exactly, just took someone who really never had much to begin with, Kevin, and gave that person the world. He had the world, by the way. He had, he had the world. You, it depends on had, what you consider, yes. you know, important in, in life. Um, like for me, I have my kids, I have my mom, I have my sisters, my brothers. That's my but world. But you're saying he had needs. Yeah. What were they, fame? I mean, he's in the entertainment business even before people knew him. So, yeah, he kind of wanted a little bit of fame. So, I mean, when, seriously, if you, if you take someone who lives humbly. Yes, as you and, and he did. Because I'm, yep. I'm, I'm a normal girl. Yeah, I've been in the industry since I was three years old, but I like to do things normal. You know, okay. I like to go home and have normality so that my kids can grow up and be sane. Okay, right, okay. right. So um, I, I don't do things all super extravagant and everything. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have nice things in my life sure. and, and, and that's fine, but, but she's it doesn't have to be grandioso. And in her, with her status, it's it's out of control. So does that make you forgive him more readily it and say, well, look, it was a powerful him. drug, so you it might as well use it? It doesn't make me forgive him. It? But you have to understand, like I said, I, I grew up in Hollywood, yeah. okay, and I've seen kids and and adults too get exposed to this lifestyle and completely forget who they are and yes. what's important. Right. And it happens all the time. And maybe if I'd never seen that, then I probably wouldn't understand. Even though that's not how I am, I've seen it happen to so many because people. Because you are still friends. We are friends. Best friends. I love him to death. Have you ever been, like, do you still love him, love him? I love him. I'm not in love with him. You know, are, you, are you still attracted to him? Tell me if I'm getting to. He's, he's a different looking guy. He doesn't look the same as uh, he looked when we were together. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, he changed. Things he was changed. better when he was with you. I think, you know, yeah. I, you know. <laughs> but, but that's just, that's just, he, he's different now. He's a different person. And. And. We'll get the rest of that answer when we come back. Okay. Stay with us. Next. Had it happened more than once to you? This was the first time. This was the but it was a big one. We're back and we're talking with Shar Jackson, who was living with her boyfriend of four years, Kevin Federline, when he left her for Britney Spears. Yeah. Okay, but your feelings didn't end no, the day he left. No, of course not. No, 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 no. Of course not. You said I mean, now you're you love him, but you're not in love with him. Words many of us have used or heard in our lives. Yeah. Um, but that must have been a transition for you. Oh, definitely. Because it happened like that. Definitely, and I mean, it it took me a while to get to the point where I am now, where it's like I love him, but I'm not in love with him. Because for anybody who's, if you really love somebody, you never hated him. No, I never hated him. You never did. But I'm not a hateful person, though. Clearly not. Not, not at all. I'm not, I mean, you're a, kind I'm not of amazing a hateful, that hateful way. person. I, you know what? It, between Where's my, that come my, from? my spirituality and the strong women that I have in my life, my mother, you know, my aunts, my sister, that's, I mean, that's, that's all I was raised around, strong women. Now, this is not, a, as we've said, this isn't a traditional separation. Not at all. This plays out in the media. What was it like for you? It was everywhere. It was everywhere. I mean, I couldn't turn on a TV, couldn't pick up a magazine, d sometimes didn't want to go outside, you know, because I'm still, I'm in the entertainment industry too, and sure. I have been since I was three years old. So, unfortunately, I can't get away from it at all. There's one of the covers, Britney's yeah. Anguish, there we go. He's spending more time with his ex. Yeah. Yeah, no, didn't happen. Didn't happen, I just no. asked you that. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. That didn't happen that because was, you drew the line. That was the worst thing right there, reading all the made up stories. There were so many false, I heard I was, uh, I became their nanny and I moved in with them. <laughs> <laughs> also a lie. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Brittany bought me a house was one yeah. of them. Uh, I was like evicted from my place and that's what was with, yeah. you know, the whole break. The lies. It was so much stuff that it was just insane. And that stuff really hurts. It did. I mean, and, because and, people and might you know think not, you know, but it, it's real. It is real. For everybody else, it's entertainment, but it is my life, you know? And, and at the end of the day, I, like I said, I'm a strong girl. I'm, you know, I'm a tough cookie. Yeah. But You're my kidding. babies. Yeah, right. <laughs> Your ba exactly. My for you. babies. You know, they had to deal with it all the time. I'm going to cry because of my kids. Oh, my God. Um, 
But my daughter, my oldest daughter, Cassie, would come home from school just in tears. You know, oh God, I'm really gonna cry. Yeah, no, no, I get it. I get it. And what would she say? She'd come home in tears. Just everybody wanted to know. Mm. Mommy, why did, you know, why did Kevin do this? Why this, why that? And you know, people were teasing me because that is the only part that just killed me to this day. And what are you going to tell your daughter? And we have tissues. Ah, thank you. There you go. We can't Cassie, prepare. look what you made mommy do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to tell her about that period in your life when she's older? She could pick up the magazines and, yeah. and read it herself, you mm. know? And uh, now that she's uh. 11 and she's, she's, you know, it's been two years now. It's, and it, everybody mm. was like, don't worry, Char. Give it a couple weeks, it'll blow over. Yeah. Here we are two years later, and it's still, you know, the cover of magazines. Still but, happening. Um, and it's one thing when it happens to you because you're so strong, but right. the reason you're crying now isn't for you. No. You're crying no. for her. It was my goal to be extra strong and let her know that mommy's still going to make it and we're going to make it. Mm. But it hurt. But it really hurt. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, when people get caught, are unfaithful and get caught or just come home for right. that matter and say, you know, something's changed in my life. I'm not sure how many people realize that it's not just the woman that they're with or the, the men, if it's right. a woman cheating, it's, it's the kids right. who are concluding all kinds of things right. about themselves. Right. Like, what's wrong with me that daddy doesn't want to be here? Yeah, that was the thing as far as I was concerned. I was okay that the relationship ended, but the family breaking up is something painful. Incredibly and painful. honestly, I didn't let it happen. Now, in the beginning, it was rough because he was overseas. But now that, you know, when he came back home, I told him, I said, you know, Kevin, I'm not going to let you be. An absentee. A convenient father. You know, if you're going to be a part of these kids' lives, then you're going to be a part. If not, then you're not. I think that's an essential message. And you've even had Brittany involved in their lives. Yeah. You're not excluding her. No, I mean, she's, you know, she's, she's part of, of their extended family now. And you've met their child? I have not. You haven't? Have not, no, no. Well, and tell I, me more. Because I keep my distance, you know, that. <laughs> yeah, you're not interested in that. I'm, I mean, you're interested in keeping your distance from keeping that. Keeping my distance. Tell me why. Sanity. Uh, because to do otherwise would be to... It would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking to a psychiatrist. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stay with us. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> Next. It hurts you that he had a child with her. It did hurt. It's what happened. There's nothing you can do about that. Later. He missed being in the limelight. From there, things just seemed to get worse and worse. I opened up my email, and there was an email that Lloyd had sent to Christine, how much he loved her. He wanted to wake up beside her. We're back with Char Jackson, and you're back. Yes, I am. Let me ask you this, right? Because your Kevin's relationship with Brittany mm -hmm. got so much attention. I mean, everywhere. Right. Which is something you have to live through. Yeah. And then the next wave comes with her parenting skills, <laughs> or lack thereof, whatever you know. So your children are with her. Mm -hmm. Does it? Do you think about that? Do you dismiss it as just tabloid fodder, or what? What if you? Did you call her and say, "Hey, listen, you know, if my kids are there, you better drive slow, or something." I don't know. I mean, <laughs> what? Um, no, you know what? Honestly, I don't. Um, look for her to parent my children. That's why they, their dad is there. You know, it's not what like... What do you look to her for when she's with your children? No, she's like a good friend to them. She's a friend. Like, you know, they got a new buddy. <laughs> like know? a kid? That's all, that's like all a kid? I, I mean... I, I, I don't... I mean, I'm like a big kid, so I don't know. You know what I mean? But oh, I, yeah. don't, I don't expect her to raise my children. You that's expect what, him to do it. That's our job. You that know? makes sense. Um, she, like I said, she's an extended part of the family, but I do not expect her to raise my children. And, and I, 